Hello everyone, my name is Freya and welcome to my broom closet. Today I want to talk about Sabbat celebrations, namely Lunasa or Lamas. So first let's talk about why this Sabbat often has two different names. Well that's because Lunasa comes from Irish Celtic mythology whereas Lammas is an Anglo-Saxon term. Lunasa is the great festival of Lu, the great Celtic sun god, and Lunasa means the funeral games of Lu. The funeral games of Lu is in reference of the games that he hosts in honour of his foster mother Telti. The Christian religion also adopted this theme, but instead they called it Lammas. The word Lamas is actually derived from the words loaf mass, and that is because this Sabbat emphasises the importance of the first grain of harvest and the first loaf of the harvesting cycle. So basically, Lamas is a time for gathering in and giving thanks for abundance. Of course, an underlying theme of this holiday is the knowledge that the bounty and energy of Lu or the sun is now beginning to wane. This Sabbat is a time of change and shift and active growth is now beginning to slow down and the darker days of winter will soon return. So how should we celebrate Lunasa or Lamas in the broom closet? Well, I'm going to give you a list of a few different ways ranging from quite subtle to quite elaborate. So you can just pick and choose which methods you would like and how exactly you would like to celebrate this Sabbath. You can decorate your altar using colours like green, gold and yellow all the way to the deepest oranges. These are colours that represent Lamas harvesting and honouring the sun god. It is also a good idea to decorate with wheat and grains, corn dollies, bread and sunflowers. A good more subtler way is to be mindful of cooking with traditional ingredients at this time of year. So things like apples, grains, breads, berries, grapes, heather, blackberries, slowberries, crab apples and pears. A common way that this Sabbat is celebrated is to host a feast. This is a good time to celebrate with a feast shared with family or common members. Of course you could have a mini feast just by yourself by baking like a little loaf of bread or cooking with grains and then eating that mindfully in the presence of a lord and lady or Lou or any deity that you choose to work with. And then it's a good idea to save the seeds from this feast and then plant them and when they sprout love them and look after them as a service to the lord and lady. A great really subtle way to celebrate this Sabbat is to just go for a walk. So walk through fields and orchids and spend some time along rivers, lakes and ponds. On this walk reflect on the bounty and the love of the Lord and Lady and the abundance that this time brings.
So those are some really simple ways to celebrate Lamas or Lunasad. That's pretty much all that I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you out and gave you some pointers on what to do for this Sabbat. If you liked this video then give it a thumbs up and share it with others so that I can help out as many broom closet witches as possible. If you need any more information on Lunasa or Lamas then please visit the description and if you need any more information on witchcraft in general then please visit r slash broom closet witch on reddit. Uh, I've got a huge wiki on there that has lots of information about witchcraft in the broom closet. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay safe, have a great day, and blessed be.